Washington has won the Super 8 Massachusetts State Championship. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, underway here at Pierce Field in Arlington. It is a carnival atmosphere as we enter the second round of the MIAA Division II playoffs. Uh, and uh, the Division II North, I am uh, Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster here for Arlington Community Media, Inc. Our producer tonight for ACMI is Alex Van Thong, also our cameraman. I am delighted once again to be here with my illustrious color commentator, Zach Garrigus, Zach Sonsack, Zach and Wheezy. Zachary Taylor, old rough and ready, that old wig. Zachy, we're in the second round right now, and the boys are playing a Lynn Classical team that won their, uh, they won their conference. Let me tell you a little bit about Lynn Classical, Zachy. I've done a little bit of homework tonight. Uh, they're coached by first-year coach, uh, first coach Eric Marino. He's in his first year at the helm, and Zachy, uh, the Rams are the winner of the NEC title this year, the Northeastern Conference. They finished with a 10-2-6 overall record, seven wins, no losses, and five ties in the NEC, Zachy. Zachy, I'll tell you a little bit about Coach Marino. He played, he played Lynn Youth Soccer. He's a local boy, played at Bishop Fenwick High School in Salem State, and he, uh, he started a local club in town. Zachy, what do you think the boys are going to have to do for Marlington to come out tonight with a win? They're going to have to do a lot better than they did at Belmont. I mean, Belmont was the 12 seed. Lynn Classical is the 5 seed. Arlington had seen Belmont before. They had somewhat you know, of an idea what they are going to be in with before the game started. But this is a completely different beast in Lynn Classical. They're from a different division, as you mentioned. So uh, they only ever see him in the playoffs, really, if I'm not mistaken. So it's they don't have a lot of information going into it. So I wouldn't be surprised if the first minutes here are just kind of slow as each team feels each other out. And... Uh, We'll see how the Arlington boys are doing after that. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about Lynn Classical, Zachy. They had a quite a, I hear they had quite a bus ride getting here tonight. You can't really get from Lynn to Arlington. And so, uh, you know, they could be a little bit sleepy, but they look a little bit feisty right here as they look to control the midfield and switch the field. But there's a takeaway by number 10, Shawnee Connolly. Shawnee is, uh, I mean, Sean Connolly is the lone striker for the Arlington formation. And uh, Zachy, we are underway here uh, in Arlington, Mass. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Arlington lineup for tonight. Uh, it's been consistent pretty much all year long. Here's a corner kick, kid, Zachy, yeah. to start the game for Arlington. Ball goes up and high and behind the net, yep. and it's going to be a, uh, a turnover for the... Uh, conditions here are less than ideal, Ken. I'll say that. Well, let's talk a little bit about the conditions. It's been raining all day, and uh, the forecast said it was going to lighten up, but I don't see it lightening up at all, Zachy. No, it's, it's still coming down pretty well, and... You know, when the turf's a little bit wet, it, the ball runs super fast on it. But when it's been raining all day, like it has been today, the turf just kind of gets soggy and everything slows down. The players, the ball, it just it doesn't. The ball doesn't bounce as high. It it just gets kind of sloppy. Yeah. Well, let's see if the boys can play some possession there. Uh, there's Francesco Valagusa, number 11, and he wins a throw-in. It's going to be taken by number nine, Elon Science Grant. Elon Science uh, Elon Science Grant, uh, as you know, Zachy, he's liquid mata. He's a Terminator. He's uh, started the season as just the regular Terminator T1, but his play has been so spectacular that they've uh, elevated him to T2, Liquid Mata. And uh, here's Liquid with another throw in. Number nine, Elon Science Grant. He's the right back defender, and he is a senior. He throws it into Francesco Valagusa. Francesco is the leading scorer in, Div uh, in the Middlesex League this year. He's number 11, and he's going to take a corner kick. Zachy, two corner kicks early in the game to start the game. That bodes well for the Spy Ponders. It does. It means, it means they're getting some, some good chances down in the opponent's defending third. Um, I, think, I think the Lewis are doing a good job on defense, though. I mean, blocking it out of bounds for a corner is definitely better than having a loose ball in the middle, and they've seemed to be dealing with the corners rather well here. So There's a nice punch by... Uh, uh, by Francesco, it's tried to sh it's shot across and knocked out of bounds by Lynn. All right, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the starting lineup for the Spy Ponders. In net, Zaki, we've had Henry Fox Jerkowitz. He's had a tremendous season. Yes, all season long. Henry has been very uh, solid. He's a senior, he, uh, and uh, he has had sticky fingers. Uh, Arlington boys chase it down in the middle. There's a, a dangerous cross. Elon takes a touch, and he takes. Oh, and he's buried in the box, and That's it's going to be a PK. As Elon Science Grant again draws a PK, and it looks like it's probably going to be taken by who, Zachy Francesco? Oh, I'd imagine it has to be. Either Francesco or Connolly. But that's, that's a great play by uh, Science Grant. He knows he's in the box, and he doesn't necessarily try to draw the foul, but he makes an aggressive cut in past the Lynn defender and basically gives him a choice. You can either trip me, or I can beat you. 
Exactly, Zaki, and that's why all season long they've been calling him Liquid Mata from Terminator 2 because he'll go right through you with the ball on his foot. So T2 draws the, uh, draws the penalty kick early in the game. It's going to be taken by senior captain number 11, Francesco Valagusa, the leading scorer of the Middlesex League. And if I'm the uh, Lynn Classical goalie, I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. And there there it, is. it is. He buries it. Keeper guessed right, though. The I mean, give credit for that. Right. Yep. So in net for Lynn Classical is Daniel Cortez. He's the senior, Zachy, and he is uh, a captain. But Cortez didn't have much of a chance on no, that. I as, mean, no, it's a grass cutter. Francesco picked a corner and, and put it there. That's how, that's how right. you successfully convert a penalty kick, and Francesco's been doing it for years. Do we give an assist to uh, for the one who draws the penalty? No, no, no. no. Arlington goal number 11, Francesco Valagusa. We, we can give him an assist in the broadcast, but officially penalty yeah. kicks are always unassisted. Okay, so it's an unassisted. Uh, oh, a nice little play by Will Clifford. You see that, Zachy? The heel yeah. kick. And Connolly oh, tried. Too, yeah. A little too much. No, he tried to send it into Liquid. Liquid Mata is really feisty tonight. He was the runner up for the player of the game last game of the season against Belmont when Declan Dolan took that yep. player of the game. But I thought Liquid was clearly the, the runner up, Zachy. He yeah, was everywhere. Yeah, he's, he has. He's been everywhere all season. And it's not a great start for Lynn Classical as Connolly cuts in the box with the ball on his foot. You Look at Connolly go! If you're, uh, you want to, if you're the uh, the away team and a slightly lower seed, you want to come in, you want to set the tone, you want to show some dominance, much like Belmont did uh, in the first round. They were the 12 seed, but they came in here and played Arlington really tight for a hundred minutes before going to PKs. Zachy, we were we were uh, honored to be out here for that Belmont game. That was a crazy yeah. game with the win, but Belmont, you give them a lot of credit. I agree with you, Zachy. A hundred minutes, scoreless game. Yeah, exactly. And Lynn is down one nothing within five minutes, and it's just. Well, it's, it's hard like, to come back from mentally. It is, although you know the night is young. It is uh, an unfortunate, unfortunate break for the uh, for the Lynn Classical Rams on to, to get go down a goal on a penalty kick, but it was a clear call. Look at Liquid show up open wide, and so Liquid takes it in. Here he goes again, Liquid Mata. He's not to be stopped. He'll go right through, and he does go right through. But he's broken up. So. Anyway, Elon Science Grant has had a breakout season. He's been electric all season long. He tried to get through. Uh, he tried to get through uh, the defense there again, but he couldn't get through. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a timeout. I'm not surprised from Lynn. They're they're not looking too sharp in the midfield right now. Ken, they're they're letting a lot of. I think it's a. I would assume it's was a, it a Lynn, Lynn timeout. timeout. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why Arlington would call a timeout. Timeout. Lynn Classical. So Lynn Classical takes a timeout early in the game. They're down by a goal. It's a tough way to go down on a PK, but the yeah. ref didn't have much of a chance, as it, I mean, of a choice, because it was a clear penalty in the box. I mean, I, I think that's a good call. You said it's the first year head coach for Lynn. That's, I think that's the right call. Your, your team's down one nothing. You want to make sure everyone's still got their heads in the game. Make sure that that mental, you know, break that I talked about doesn't happen. Make sure that you've, you know, can adjust from any early game stuff you've seen and get them back out there and tell them to go get one, put one in their net. Yep, Eric Marino in his first year, Zachy, at the helm for the high school team, Lynn Classical, won the NEC title. I think that's fantastic yeah. for the Northeastern Conference title. He finished 10, 10 wins, 2 losses, and 6 ties overall, but 7-0-5, oh, undefeated in the NEC. He's a local kid. He grew up in Lynn, playing Lynn Youth Soccer, as I mentioned. He went to Bishop Fenwick High School and Salem State College, where I understand he played soccer. He also played uh, at a very high level semi-professionally, and he started the Lynn United FC Soccer Club. And uh, so he certainly knows what he's doing. He's assisted tonight by assistant coaches Kristen Alpuche, uh, the Alpaca, and Jack Erickson, Erickson the Red, they call him. Uh, the goaltender is Daniel Cortez, as I mentioned. The uh, known stars for, uh, for Lynn is the striker, uh, Gabriel no Novoa, and also the left center mid, Alexander Eastlage. So it'll right. be a goal yep. kick, goal kick for Lynn here. Right, the Lynn goal kick, kick, uh, keeper, Zachy, is Daniel Cortez. He's a senior. Cortez the killer. Ooh. Powerful header there. You know that song, Cortez the Killer, guys? Neil Young? Great tune. Great tune. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway here. There's Tiago Gomes, senior captain number six. He sends it to the middle. Ball bouncing around a little bit. And uh, there's Corrales, who sends it deep into the corner. Nick Corrales. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Arlington backfield. We talked about 
the uh, goaltending, which has been outstanding. That's uh, Henry Fox Jerkowitz. At left back is uh, Nick Corrales, number three. They call him Zeus. He's uh, a striker and a midi and a back. He's filling in in the backfield for the injured Noah Ahrens. Oh, there's a nice ball met by number three, uh, Christopher Zelaya, a junior back for the Rams. Anyway, in the backfield for Arlington, it's uh, left back is Nick Corrales. At the two center backs on the left is number five, Ben Kohlberg. He's a project. And number six, Tiago Gomes. And number nine, as I mentioned, Liquid Matter, and he runs it down. And Liquid wins the throw in, I think, for Arlington, Zachy, but yeah, I'm not that, 100% sure. That's an incredible track back from Saints. He, got, he kind of got caught looking. He was, he was, uh, he was looking to see if they were going to, uh, if his man was going to check to the ball in the midfield, and he kind of uh, went to intercept that pass. His man cut for a long ball, and Saints Grant was able to track him down from like a good five or seven yard deficit and get back in front of him to win the throw in. Yeah, very nice play. All right, so Liquid's going to take the throw. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Arlington midfield. Zachy, uh, Coach Yadzio plays a 4 5 1, so he really some, loads it up in the middle. Somewhat unusual formation. I don't think we've seen another team really play that. Most teams go with a, a 4 4 2 or. A 5-4-2. A 5 in the midfield is, is somewhat unusual unusual for this level of soccer. Well, he's got some nice midfielders, Zachy. On the uh, left-hand side today, it looks like number two, Lucas Plotkin. He's been outstanding all season long. Yep. And um, next to Lucas is uh, Nirvan patel Massini. Uh, he is a junior, number 19. He's a Dolan Eagle. We'll talk about the Dolan Eagles a little bit later. Uh, the other midfielder, as we've mentioned, is a senior captain, Francesco Valagusa, number 11. Then there is number seven, Declan Dolan. Uh, Dolan, of course, another Dolan Eagle. And the fifth uh, midfielder is number 16, a senior captain, Will Clifford. There's a ball across. Oh, oh nearly. Plot Plot almost gets almost, there. Yeah, Plot can almost get there. So it's a nice midfield. And Zachy, as I mentioned, the sole striker for the Arlington Spy Ponders is a uh, junior, number 10, Shawnee Connolly. Yeah, and, and Arlington fully utilized the, the potential of the 4-5-1. Uh, the I will absolutely give them credit for that because... What it means is when you have your two center backs that are able to drop back, it means that you can send your wide backs or even when your center backs up, as long as the center middies are intelligent and can read the play correctly, they can drop back for them. And even if you do lose the ball and the other team counters, you still have the same amount of people in the backfield, but you never you never have to bother yourself with all these pesky things like positions and stuff like that. Same thing for attacking. The middies can make runs up. The backs can make runs up. It's just a very, like, it's a formation that can, can kind of do anything as long as the players are smart enough. All right, so here's another corner kick for Francesco. He made a nice play into Connolly, and Connolly uh, earned the corner kick. Francesco sends it a little bit too much into the box. It shoots across. Declan Dolan hustling after it. And look at Dolan. He is a hustler. Ooh. So it's going to be a throw-in for Arlington as Declan Dolan proves that a little bit of hustle can go a long way. Uh, Dolan can toss that ball, by the way, a country mile. Let's see if he can get it into the is box. Is a country mile longer or shorter than a city mile? I was always unclear on that. I'm not sure of that, Zachy. It's a very good question that you raised. Ball goes back to Tiago. Kohlberg behind him as a safety net. Here's Francesco. He's never saw a shot he didn't like, though. He plays this one out to Liquid Mata. Liquid Mata number 19. He blasts it off number 7, who closes the space beautifully. That is uh, Jenner Robles. All right, so there's a square ball by, oh, nice play by Robles. This kid's a player, and Robles is down. And Liquid says, get up. And Robles is up. Look at number seven. He looks like a soccer player. I'll tell you that right now. Let's keep an eye on him. Oh, Connolly's a nice turn. Jenner Robles. Steps over a slide tackle. And Connolly earns a throw in. All right, let's see if Liquid can throw one in the box. The Arlington boys, uh, Zachy, it's been all Arlington so far. It has. Well, yeah, it's been all Arlington. I mean, and this is, Lynn Classical isn't hanging a striker high, which is unusual because most teams at least put put someone up there to pin back the opposing defense. But you can see Tiago and Kohlberg both get to sit at about the 40. And even when Lynn Classical does win the ball, they just have so much space they need to make up before they can even get it in you know, Arlington's side of the field. All right, ball shoots across to Lucas Plotkin, Plotkin number two. He plays it into himself, a little bit of dribbling, tries to shoot it into Connolly, but a little bit too much there, Lucas. Not a bad idea, but it's picked up nicely by Daniel Cortez, the senior goalkeeper and captain for the Lynn Classical Rams. Don Connolly in the house, not to be confused with Sean Connolly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster. We're delighted to be here on a beautiful evening. The rain has abated, and uh, we are here with, uh, I'm here with my illustrious color commentator, Zach Garrigus, 
Our producer tonight for ACMI is Alex Van Dong, also at Cameraman. He's a multitasker. Plotkin over there on the side, and Plotkin with a nice win. He sends it to Dole, and he tries to shoot a square ball. I mean, uh, Connolly tries to shoot a, a square ball across to Francesco, but he's not there. And the Rams switch the field, Zachy. Yep. Rams look good. They're, they've they've uh, they've overcome their their jet lag getting here, and uh, I think they're they're starting to shape up nicely. Yeah. All right, so here comes the first substitution, Jackie. I need the number, please. Number. Alex, help us. We need this. Number nine? Yeah, nine. Uh. Lim Classical substitution, number nine, Fernando Gomez Godinez. All right, so the first sub comes into the game. It's a midfielder for the Spy Ponders, Fernando. No, for Lynn Classical. For Lynn Classical, excuse me. And here comes Lynn Classical with a little bit of pressure. Yeah. And a nice ball. Oh, oh beautiful look. Yeah, beautiful look. Come on! Don't get him open, though. So that's that's something the Spy Ponders going to take note of. Cause can you, hear me out here? you can? I can hear you broadcast out here. Not anymore, you can't. All right, so the corn, uh, goal kick will be taken. Kohlberg with a win, number five. Fine boy, tries to shoot it across to Lucas uh, Plotkin, but Plotkin can't get there. Zachy, that Kohlberg boy, fine boy, near and dear to my heart. Ooh, is that okay, Alex? Yeah. All right, this will, give us, this will give us a little more vision. Yeah. Vision's good. Alex, with that rain stopping, you want to open that window for you? You good? Looks like you got a little bit of mist in front of you. You, you all right? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, AVT, uh, Alex Van Thong, our cameraman tonight. Uh, he's an all-terrain uh, all ter all vehicle, Zachy, but they call him Alex from Strohs. He's Tone Loke, and here comes a break. And number 16, Will Clifford has got the Jets, but he is but stopped. Not the, not the ball anymore. No, not the ball. He stopped, and then Clifford throws an elbow to the kidney of number six. Yep, and gets called for and it. And he got called for it. He threw that elbow to the kidney of number six, Kevin Molina Orellana, a senior captain. But Orellana shook it off. He said, Rain seems to have stopped for now, Ken. That's nice. Huh? Rain seems to have stopped for now, yeah. which is nice. It's uh, turning into a gorgeous evening as Will Clifford, the large red canine, Will the Thrill, uh, threw that elbow. Kohlberg meets the first ball, number five. Second ball goes to Francesco. And there's a trifecta for the Arlington boys as Connolly comes away with it. And he shoots it into Clifford. And Clifford is on his horse. Weaving through the defense. Yeah, Clifford was on his horse. Yeah, he got on it, like Paul Revere. All right, so the Arlington boys trying to build a little possession here as Francesco is dispossessed. He was he was dispossessed. And look at the run off the ball by number 18. Oh, my goodness. Look at this kid, Iver De Leon, a senior. Iver De Leon just made a beautiful run off the ball on the give and go. Look at him. Uh, all right, so it's going to be an Arlington throw in. Liquid takes the ball. Uh, Zachy, we're down to about 25 minutes left, uh, 26 minutes left in the first half. It's pretty much been all Arlington, but I've seen some flashes yeah. of... Uh, Lynn's, yeah, Lynn's had a couple. Lynn's yeah. definitely had some. Yeah, there's a nice ball in, and there's some nice runs off the ball by the... by Lynn Classical. Here's a fight, Plotkin in a tussle with number nine. Fernando Gomez Godinez, he was the first sub. And the Lynn Classical fans are trickling in, Zachy. It yeah, is a carnival atmosphere. Second round of uh, playoff soccer. Yeah, people have come out of their cars from the rain. And they're starting to fill up the stands. It's nice. So it's turning into a nice night for soccer. It's not too cool. The rain has stopped. And visibility is good. And we, uh, the score is one nothing Arlington. We are 20, 25 minutes left into the first half. But the one was off a penalty kick. So On you a know. penalty kick. It was it was some good pressure from Arlington, but they haven't organically found the uh, the back of the neck the back of the net yet. Kohlberg with a head ball. Uh, one time earlier in the season, I saw Kohlberg use his feet to play soccer, but uh, that was uh, in the second game of the season. Since a rare then, sighting. He, yeah, since then he's only used his head. Slide tackle by oh, Francesco, and he took it away. And it what does he see? Calves. Oh, it looked like he almost kept it in. Francesco Valagusa, out of bounds on Francesco. Liquid gets back to get it, but he hits it out of bounds. Liquid Mata. And here comes another substitution, Zachy. We gotta get these Lynn Classical boys announced. What number's that over there? I can't believe I forgot the binoculars. 
I don't know, they have real small print in the front of their jerseys, yeah, sadly. This is going to be hard. We'll have to enlist some help from uh, Alex from Stroh's. Sean Connolly on the hunt. Oh, he's in a little bit of tussle there with a nice player. That's number 13. Uh, Wilberth Lopez Funes, a sophomore, number number 13. And uh, he's got some jets over there. All right, so Plotkin tries to send it into Connolly. He's dispossessed, but he wins it back. And here comes Plotkin deep. And look at that play by 13. He's a feisty guy. Wilberth Lopez Plotkin wins it Funes. back again, though. And Connolly with a win. And the Lynn boys are here to play, Zachy. I'm telling you that right now. You can't rest on one PK. They shoot the ball across. And a nice switch of the field for the class. Nice play back. And here they are, Zachy. Yeah. They're winning some possession. Oh, and a nice ball in. Finds two runners. But Tiago is there. Dolan, I mean, uh, Francesco's there first. Oh, Chop back to control. himself. And he sends a ball, tries to send a ball in. It was a good look for Connolly. Liquid Matter with a win. Oh, oh, oh. Liquid Matter with a hit. Oh, that's why they call him Liquid. As he put the elbow, it looks like he might get a yellow. Number nine, Science We'll Grant. see. Yeah. It was the vicious elbow to the rib cage. Uh, and the Lynn fans didn't like it. He'll get a warning. Playing. He'll get a warning. Des so if he does that again, he's absolutely getting a yellow. Oh, yeah, deserved. And it's going to be a free kick for the captain, Hos Josua Pena. But I'll be honest, I think that might have been a smart play from Science Grant. He got, he got, they kind of worked the ball around him with a quick little one, two, and... I think that if he didn't, I think if he didn't throw that shoulder, he may have gotten beat badly back down the field. Well, the Arlington boys have got to build some possession here. Tiago with a save, Kohlberg over to help. And the Lynn Classical boys are looking good now. They're building a little bit of possession, but it was dribbled out of bounds by number six, Kevin Molina. Or Elania. I couldn't see it because there was Senior. an umbrella in the way, but given the way Loon Classical was reacting, I'm not sure if that was out of bounds. Yep, the, the Lynn, Loon Classical fans didn't like it. All right, here comes a substitution for Loon Classical. Let's get this kid's number, Zachy. Help me out. He's taking out number two. Number... What number is he? Is that eight, Alex? What do you see? Uh, it's eight, yep. Eight, all right. Numero ocho. So who's that? Oh, and Francesco miss hits. And Lynn Classical substitution number eight, Gabriel Novoa. All right, so Novoa is back in the game. He was a starter, I believe. And uh, Alex, if we get that window open, can we get some light in here? Or, or that'll, that'll mess it up? Mess it up? Okay. All right, AVT, he's a dictator. <laughs> There's a throw in for Zussi. Let's talk a little bit about Zussi, Zaki. He's number three. Left back is uh, Nick Corrales. He is a Swiss Army knife. They call him Zeus. He's the king of the gods. And uh, he is the uh, has had a, a fine season for Coach Yazio filling in at every position. I think he's played probably the only guy, Zaki, who's played every position but goalkeeper. Yeah. Uh, he's the captain also of the basketball team, so he's getting ready for that season. He's a multi-sport athlete, and uh, he has a... Uh, Really had a spectacular season for uh, for the Spy Ponders, including some goals. There's a deep ball in, and it's won by some speedy Lynn, by a speedy Lynn Classical uh, player who tries to shoot it back. That's over on the right hand side, uh, and uh, it's going to be a throw in for Lynn Classical. They send it back into number six. Number six is a guy to watch. That is uh, Kevin Molina Orellana. All right, so we are about halfway through the first half, Zachy. It's been now, Lynn Classical is now evening it up a little they bit. Are. First, first 10 minutes are all Arlington, second 10 minutes, a bit more mixed. Absolutely. All right, so it's going to be a goal kick. It looks like it's going to be taken by number six, the senior captain, Tiago Gomes. Gomes has been outstanding all season long. Tremendous leadership shown, and the Arlington boys have benefited tremendously, as here they are, Zachy, in the second round of the state tournament. Dolan with a big kick. He tries to send it in to Plotkin. Plotkin's on the hunt, Zachy. Yeah, he's he's running it down, and great hustle by Lucas. Lucas dumped Plotkin. Him, dumped yeah. on the track for his troubles. Yeah, Lucas Plotkin has been uh, has been outstanding. He never gives up. There's a throw in for Arlington. It's, Oof. Oh, who was that? Someone, well, someone overextended on the sideline. Yeah. Fell right in, their, right in their back. That was Patel Massini. He's be spectacle. All right, the ball, not, not a lot of possession going on here. Here's Plotkin. He's got some wheels, but he's got someone on him. This guy, number six, Plotkin with a win, and it's going to be 
another Arlington corner yeah, kick. Corner for Arlington. All right, so this is the fourth or fifth, fifth corner of the of the half for the uh, Spy Ponder, Zachy. Zachy, they got to convert on one, they of do. These, I mean, on one of these uh, set pieces. They've had a couple of just just misfires. I think Francesco hit one over the you know completely over the crossbar, yeah. not in play at all. Another yeah. one like that yeah. one just sent completely far. They're just they're not hitting them in dangerous areas. And Corner kicks aren't useful. You're not hitting them in dangerous areas. All right, here we go, Zachy. We got a sub. Who's this? Uh, I'm guessing it'll be Pilja. He's gonna take out Clifford. Yeah, it's Pilja, number 17. 17. Yep. Arlington substitution number 17, Jan Pilja. So Pilger gets his first touch as he's out there. He's number 17. He's a sophomore. He's part of that sophomore class, Zachy, that, uh, that's to look forward to next year. And here comes Francesco. He's got Pilger running off the ball wide, but he's covered nicely. And uh, he's in a sea of white. Look at him, Zachy. He's in a sea of white. Oh, and that's going towards the bike path. Yeah, souvenir for the bike path. But it's going to be an Arlington throw in. Looked illegal to me. Oh, it gets across to Connolly. Connolly tries to flick it in front, but he can't get there. Nice idea by Shawnee Boy, James Bond, Sean Connery, Dr. No, Man with the Golden Gun, Scaramanga, they call him. Oof. Oh, nice head ball by Dolan. He's Dolan barely moves. Yeah, Dolan. Here, that one was going before it got kicked. Dolan technically solid. He's a member of Dolan's Eagles, one of the storied youth teams in Arlington, coached by David Dolan. He's got a number of juniors on that team that are out there tonight. Shawnee Connolly, number 10, was a Dolan Eagle. Number 5, Ben Colbert, oh, nice was a touch Dolan there, Eagle. Number seven. Declan Dolan, of course, was a Dolan Eagle. Nirvan Patel Massini is on the hunt, and there's a ball in. You have the shots in there, don't you? Patel Massini was a Dolan Eagle. There's one touch. This kid's trouble. And he goes right through Kohlberg, but Kohlberg manages to kick it out of bounds as he's, he heard the thundering herd of number six. I'm noticing a lot of these uh, Lynn Classical attackers are able to, to win some of these challenges that the Arlington defense is putting on them, which is something not a lot of teams have been able to do when uh, either Tiago or Kohlberg or someone steps to you and, and puts a foot on the ball at the same time as you. Usually Arlington comes away with it, but... Lynn's been, uh, Lynn's been getting it through the defense off those challenges quite a bit. Zachy, I'm, I'm sensing that this Lynn team is, uh, is here to play. The night is still young. Yeah. 17 minutes left They're in the first half. They're not the five half. seed for nothing. I mean, they no. were undefeated in their conference. Exactly. These kids can play. And uh, uh, so the night is young. There's a nice uh, shoulder ball by number seven for Lynn, uh, for Lynn Classical, uh, Jenner Robles. He's only a sophomore, Zachy, this number seven, and he's all over the field. But here comes Francesco. He's going to try to put something in the front. He does a dipsy doodle, and it's defended beautifully by number 14 for the uh, Lynn Classical Rams, Josue Pena, a captain and a senior. I, I will admit, though, I, I did find it, I did kind of feel sad in the, the first round of Belmont because they're in our division. We've seen them before. There's nothing special about that. It's There's nothing that different about you know the first-round playoff game against Belmont from any other game. But... It's match like matchups like this that I think are so cool, you know, with some like you're playing another division conference winner in the, the second round of the playoffs. It's it, exactly great action. All right, so Declan Dolan took a hit from behind, and uh, it's going to be a direct ball for Francesco. Francesco has hit him a little bit too hard tonight. They've been mm -hmm. a little bit over his over his head. I wonder if he puts a shot on here. Yeah, well, I hope he doesn't hit Certainly it over a the net. Possibility. If Keep you... it low. Keep it low. There it is. There's a Nice yep. grass cutter, but a nice save. I was right. He did go for the shot. Yeah, Cortez, the killer, played it beautifully. Oh, but Saints oh, Grant Saints takes Grant the pocket. Saints Grant with a win, and Saints Grant with a crossball. But nobody is on that far post. I think he was looking for Connolly more towards the middle. Yeah, I mean, Arlington's been over. Arlington's been overhitting it a lot tonight, more than, more so than usual. Yeah. Just, I don't know if it's the you know the nerves or or what's going on, but just some uncharacteristic blunders from Arlington. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Plotkin takes it away. He's got Pilger with a nice run off the ball wide. Pilger with a nice diagonal run. There's a nice give and go. He's and Dolan. Oh, oh. hit the post. As Declan Ooh. Dolan fired it and hit the post. It was a Tiago. Someone nailed that shot. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how we have a kind of a bad angle here, Ken. But yeah. the keeper did make a nice dive over there and it hit off the yeah. post. So I'm not sure if, uh, if that's a little bit of luck or just incredible goalkeeping. By the way, the ball stays out of the net, uh, mostly thanks to the post. Francesco takes a little bit of hit. So we have some vocal Lynn Classical fans here tonight, Zachy. 
But uh, they love their soccer up in Lynn. Yeah. All right, so it looks like Lukey Ryan is coming to the line. We're going to see a substitution here, Zachy. Maybe we got two. Uh, it looks like the large red canine, Will Clifford, is coming back into the game. Will the thrill. And he's coming in, Zachy, with number... Number one, I believe. Number one is Luke. Oh, nearly a, a rebound given up there by the Lynn keeper, but he covers it before anything bad can happen. So Luke Ryan, as I mentioned, Zachy, he's another one of the Dolan Eagles in this junior class. There's a deep ball Oof. and a great run off the ball by number seven, and he wins it. A tremendous effort. And by even gets Jenner. to Zane's Grant. That doesn't happen a lot. Jenner Robles. And there's Zussi over to cover it in the corner. And he's going to let that roll, I believe. And yep. Zussi lets it roll. Number three, Nick Corrales. And here comes some substitutions, Zachy. Help me. Uh, Ryan and Clifford. Arlington substitution number one, Luke Ryan. Number 16, Will Clifford. So they're going to grab Connolly and Plotkin. Um, Pilger goes up top to striker. Clifford goes back to normal position to right mid. Ryan takes Plotkin's spot at left mid. Right. Ryan is a magician. Uh, he's another one of these Dolan Eagles. He's a uh, high level club player, and he also is a, a tremendous futsal player. Um, and. Uh, so Ryan can, uh, can work some magic over there. He's a, pos a possession player, but also a sniper. Uh, he was uh, one of the leading scorers in the Bays, uh, U, uh, the Bays U16 last spring. I think he might have been the leading scorer for Arlington. So Science Grant with a head ball win, but it goes over to the uh, it goes over to Lynn Classical. There's a fight there. It's won by Clifford. Plays it short to Valagusa. Tried to play it back to Liquid, but Liquid couldn't win it. Liquid comes back and does win it. Sends it over to Francesco. He sends a long ball in, and it's defended by Lynn Classical. It was intended for Will Clifford and maybe uh, Jan Pilja. Ball goes into Francesco. Francesco a takes a shot, and he shot it wide. So Francesco, just outside the 20, took a little shot, tried to get a shot on the frame. It just went uh, caromed wide. And Zachy, we're down to the 13-minute mark in what has turned out to be a delightful evening. I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster for Arlington Community Media, Inc. And uh, we are here at Mary Pierce Field, Arlington, for the second round of the playoffs. Zachy, we're seeing some good action. Yeah, it's, it's been... It's been intense. Arlington's got that, that one penalty early when Lynn was a little disorganized. And, but ever since then, it's been a back and forth competitive matchup. I mean, Arlington just missed one with the post, with the post shot, but it's it's been close. It has been close, Zachy. I've been impressed by the uh, by the intensity of the Lynn Classical uh, players. They, these guys are certainly uh, aggressive and smart and technically solid and well well organized. Yeah, they I mean, they made some mo good runs as well up in the the uh, attacking third. When they get their attack together, it comes together nicely. Yep. Uh, they've definitely given their Arlington defense some some major problems. All right. Uh, Elon tried to get the win, but he could not, so it's going to be a throw in for Lynn Classical. The Lynn Classical Rams, as I mentioned, they went unde undefeated in the Northeastern Conference this year, and uh, you can see why. Oof. Liquid Matter with another hit. That, that time he threw a noogie. It looked like it was a noogie to the midsection of number eight. That was, I mean, uh, that was that incidental, though. He's, their legs just got twisted up when... Uh, not so sure, not so sure. Yeah. Gabriel Nova shook it off, but Liquid did get called for it. There's a ball into the box. It trickles back, and uh, luckily... everybody. Yeah, luckily it misses everybody. Don't go for a run onto the track to get it before it goes off into the woods. And rolls out of bounds. All right, number one, Luke Ryan looks like he's fit to be tied. He's a bull in a china closet. He's ready to go. They got to get him a touch, Zachy. Yeah, I mean, he's always impressive. He's uh, got a tons of speed, but with that speed, he's... You know, it doesn't matter how fast you are. It matters how fast you can stop, Ken. Exactly. And he can stop on a dime. He can. All right, the rain has picked up again. Here comes Francesco. He shoot, oh, he tried to shoot it into the big red dog. And here comes a counter for the Lynn Classical boys. That's the Lynn Classical boys. They play the one-two beautifully. Colberg gets back, and Colberg saves the day. He's a fine boy. Fine young man. And then gives a souvenir. Yep, we'll feed him tonight, Zachy. You haven't already fed him? It's like seven. All right, here comes a sub. Let's help me, boys. Let's get this guy announced. Who is he? Uh, he's taking out number 10. It's... Number two. Yeah. Number two. Lynn Classical Substitution, number two, Theodore Camarinos. All right, so Camarinos is back in. Teddy Camarinos, the teddy bear. Where's my teddy? 
Fox Jerkwitz is going to have Tiago take the goal kick. Arlington uh, High School girls, Zachy, are also in the second round tonight. They're playing yep. Concord Carlisle. They, had, they uh, upset, um, was it Danvers? Yeah, yeah. And let me see what in I In the first get. round. Yeah, I got some text here. It looks like it is going to be... Uh, uh, But yeah, it's, good. it's great to see both soccer programs of dancing in the playoffs. All right, here we go. Declan Dolan with a touch. He tries to shoot it into Luke Ryan. Ryan and Dolan, by the way, have been playing together, Zachy, as you know, since uh, third grade on the Dolan Eagles. So these, some of these Arlington uh, players have been a uh, long history of playing together, which bodes well. Here comes another substitution. Uh, it is going to be a Lynn Classical substitution. Help me please, Zachy. It looks like he's going up, to the, up top, and it is number... Boy, he's far across the field, yep. and with the rain, it's going to be very hard to pick him up. Uh, but it looks like it might be 11. Oh, here's a win for Lynn Classical. Nice square ball. It is number 11. Yep. 11? Yeah. All right. Lynn Classical substitution number 11, Alexander Alfaro Amaya. All right, so Amaya Omaya is in the game, and there's a nice win for Liquid, and Liquid is tripped, and he gets a call. Finally, a call for Liquid. And Liquid Mata, uh, Elon Science what do you mean, Finally, T2. a call. He drew the penalty again. He drew the. Oh, that's right. He did draw yeah. the penalty that led to the goal. Exactly. Oh, he's all over the field. He's all. Look at the rain coming down. Yeah. Alex, can you get that on the, uh, on the, um, on the lights? That rain. Look at that. All right. So Luke Ryan with a touch. A nice step over. Here he comes, Zach. He, he's electric. Yeah. And he tries to take the dive in the box, mm -hmm. and he doesn't get it. Nope. They're not going to give Arlington two of those. No. Sorry, Lukey. Nice try, though. Luke Ryan, fearless uh, penetrator, uh, but he did take a hit here. Zussi with a win. No, that, that's Kohlberg over there. He's a chicken with his head cut off. Look at him. He looks yep. like a chicken with his head cut off. Oh, Francesco is pushed off the ball beautifully by Christopher Zelaya, a junior, number three. He said, Francesco, I'm taking that ball from you. There's a nice square ball. And a nice challenge by Liquid. Oh, a beautiful Oof. challenge by Bodies Liquid. Fly. He sends it into Pilsia with a beautiful spin. Oh, beautiful play by Jan Pilsia. And a ball. Oh, beautiful ball into, into uh, Clifford. The Arlington boys look to penetrate. Look at Science Grant get back. Oh, they're playing some football there. The Lynn fans didn't Maybe. like it. Science Grant. Got wheels, though. Yeah, Science Grant. Oh, nice switch. And Kohlberg is over to cover. Oh, Kohlberg with a win. I don't know why. He, he kicked it away. He had a little bit of time there. But probably for the better, as he heard the thundering herd, Pilja on the hunt, and he forces a, a kick out, but it, the Lynn Classical keeps possession. And it's taken by number two, who plays a nice short ball. That's uh, no, uh, Theodore Camarinos, number two. He played a nice short ball there into the corner, and the Lynn boys uh, win some possession here. Zachy, uh, under seven minutes left in the first half. Arlington with a narrow yeah. lead. Narrow, narrow lead, and it is, it is worth mentioning, Ken. This is kind of a bittersweet game for Arlington regardless because win or lose uh, this is probably the last game they're the seniors going to play on their home field because yep. if they win this game um, unless there's been an upset which I'm not aware of they're facing a higher rank uh, place seed than them which means they're going to be away no and no no the brackets are all set the next round is at the next two rounds are at Manning Field oh good the yep. next two rounds are yep. at Manning Field so yep. a neutral site then for the next two rounds right We'll try, so. to, we'll try to get Alex from Strohs to bring some uh, equipment up there. And uh, like last year, we'll yeah. hopefully uh, we can go up there. Yeah, so, uh, so win or lose, this is, this is the seniors' last game at Pierce Field. It and is. And uh, my, my last game calling it as well since That's I am right. a senior. You are a senior and you're off. Any word, Zachy? I know you want to go to D.C. next year. Any yeah. word for the fans? The Zach no, Garrigus fans? Not, Nothing? not yet. All not right, yet. Well, we'll be announcing that in the winter when we uh, ACMI picks up girls hockey. And in the spring with lacrosse, we'll hopefully have some information yep. at that time on Zach's on sax, my friends. They call him Zach's on sax. Sometimes they just call him on sax. He's my illustrious color commentator, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Garrigus. And Zachy, we, the, the Arlington boys are in a hornet's nest. Yeah. They they are. I mean, it, as I said, it's it's a bittersweet game, win or lose, but I'd certainly prefer to see Arlington win. Oh, yeah. That way we get to go to Manning Field like we did last year. It'd be back-to-back oh, -back years at Manning Field. That was fantastic. Remember they tried to kick us out? We had to find our own space in the box. Yeah. All right, Will Clifford with a win. Hopefully He's that got, doesn't happen again. I know. Will Clifford in a big fight. They, 
Oh, the Lynn fans don't like it. They think Clifford was throwing elbows, but Clifford got the call. Clifford's he, always throwing elbows. He was, yeah, he is. He was in it. Well, it's like he's like uh, Michelle Clifford in that respect. All right, number seven, Jenner Robles didn't like the call, but he got called off, and it's going to be a Arlington. What do we got here? A throw-in? I think it's yeah. I think I think yep. Yeah, it's a long right. throw, and Dolan's going to. Oh, it. nice chuck into the box. Oh. Oh, and uh, Pilja valiantly went after it. He really got ball, there, too. Yeah, that ball went out of bounds. It's going to be a throw-in. The Lynn fans, are, listen, the Lynn fans, they're chirping, Zach. They yeah. chirp us. All right, here comes number 19, Patel Massini. He's been quiet, but he has a nice win. They give and go. Oh, beautiful ball by Patel Massini over to Lukey Ryan. Lukey the magician. Oh, Lukey is dispossessed. Look at this guy dribbling in the, in yeah. the bottom third. Beautiful play Must there. Must have been a midi that uh, came back to help out on yeah. defense. They can never help themselves. Always that, dribbling around the defensive third. That was number 13, Wilberth Lopez Funes. He has a beautiful. Fox Jerkwitz gets uh, one of his first touches of the game. The Lynn fans are starting to chirp. Not happy about something. I didn't, I didn't see what, but. Fox Jerkwitz sends one out. Uh, Pilja is a little, a little slow to re uh, react there. But fortunately, it goes out on the Lynn Classical boys. It's going to be a throw-in for Liquid. Liquid sends it into uh, to Pilja. I mean, no, to Francesco. Francesco, uh, look at him go, yeah. but he's taking they're saying, down. Yep. They're saying something about 10 yards, so maybe something about the a kick from earlier? I'm still not quite sure. I don't know, but it's turning into a nice night for soccer. The rain has stopped. Uh, it's looking like a little bit of spitting out there, Zaki. All right, here comes Francesco. We never saw a shot he didn't like. He sends this one across, and oh, a beautiful nice touch. Oh, nice volley. Woo. Who got a foot on that? I don't know, maybe Corral? Corrales? Clifford? Corrales either, Clifford? I don't know. It was either Corrales or Clifford. Cliff, uh, Corrales is not afraid to go in. Oh, there's a deep ball. Who's going to meet it? Kohlberg with a header. He Send it nicely over Saints yeah. Grant. Don't know if it was intentional or not, but it went there. Yeah. Nice switch over, uh, but oh, beautifully met. Flying ninja volley. Yeah. Is a technical term for that one. Declan Dolan with a win in the midfield. A little bit of possession for Arlington. Tiago looks to shoot a long ball in and does to Pilja. Oh, oh nice what a touch. play by Pilja. Did you see that, Zaki? Beautiful He touch. collected the ball. Oof, and then. Jan Pilja collected a ball from 40 yards away and, and collected it on his foot like it was a, a lollipop. And then he played it beautifully. a piece of gum that stuck to his yeah. shoe. Yeah, and he played it beautifully over to Lukey Ryan. All right, so Jan Pilja, only a softball. Zaki, he's earned special. his minutes. He'll yeah. be special. All right, the throw-in is going to be from Declan Dolan. Zachy, we're almost down to uh, stoppage time. Let's see if Zolan can chuck one into the box and get it over to Pilja. Lukey Ryan is also a sniper. Let's see what Dolan can do. Here he comes. He chucks it into the box. Uh, no one's there, but Lukey Ryan. Oh, I thought Lukey Ryan was going to get a shot at it. He's Ball goes Tiago back to Tiago. Tiago oh. with a drive. Oh, the Save. dip on that one. That dropped off sharply. It did. I thought that was going over the crossbar with room to spare, but it, it dropped down and nearly uh, confuddled the keeper. Yeah. All right, Dolan with a win in the midfield. Patient, beautiful Declan. He tries to, he does send it across to Will Clifford. A nice oh. little touch pass to Liquid. Liquid on the side, uh, on the run. And uh, he wins the throw in. So Science Grant throws it into Will Clifford. Large red canine on the hunt. And uh, sends it over to Pilsia. Pilsia with another beautiful play. A beautiful volley from can't, Jan Pilsia. Can't quite pull the trigger fast enough, though, on the shot. No, but what a play by Jan. And here comes Ooh. a run. This kid's got wheels, number 11. Uh, okay, note to self, lime green cleats mean that the players are fast. Alexander Alfaro Amaya and Amaya Omaya. And we're down into stoppage time, Zachy. Arlington clinging to a yeah. narrow 1-0 lead on a PK. Yeah, it, it, it is It is very close, but 1-0 is 1-0, so True that, Classical's got to equalize here. True that, Zachy. All right, so uh, Francesco is possessed. There's a uh, Patel Machini, Massini with a nice challenge. And uh, Patel Massini with a win, and here comes Clifford. Oh, oh. A beautiful square ball to Liquid. Liquid, he'll go right through you. But, oh, a nice win by Lynn Classical. Patel Massini wins it back. Francesco over to Liquid. Liquid back to Francesco. Francesco with the head up. He plays it square to Dolan. Here. Dolan with a touch. Dolan with another touch. He sends it into Pilja. Pilja's been outstanding this half. Pilja plays it across. The, has some nice possession for the Arlington boys. Let's see if they can build on it. A ball chipped into the box. But sticky fingers. Goaltender Daniel Cortez. Clifford comes flying back in a hurry. Yeah. 
All right, so we've seen some great jets for That's the uh, half. So we've seen some great jets from Jan Pilja, number 17, and Zachy. He really provided the spark plug. We're going to go off broadcast for a moment. I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcast for Arlington Community Media, Inc. We'll be back with second half action in just a moment. Thank you. You are watching ACMI Sports, where the community covers Arlington. Where would you rather be than right here and right now? With the same starting lineup as the first half, uh, Lucas Plotkin at left midfield, Francesco Valagusa, Nirvan patel Massini, and Declan Dolan in, in the uh, midfield with Will Clifford. The lone striker is Sean Connolly, number 10. He's a junior, Dolan Eagle. Uh, nice little possession to start the half, but broken up by Dolan. Dolan plays a nice square ball over to Lucas Plotkin. The Plotkin thickens. Lucas Plotkin, number two, he shoots it into the middle to patel Massini. Both teams starting the half playing short balls. I don't know what Kohlberg was doing over there as he kind of like, with his left foot sort of, He's a project, Zach. He's always an adventure. All right, so we're underway. Second half action. Sellout crowd tonight. It is pandemonium. Like it is a carnival atmosphere. What do you got, Zachy? Looks like Lynn may have had an extra player on the field accidentally as coaches yelled and the player ran off. I'm trying to do a quick count out. Four, three. No. Yeah, they did. They should have one more out there, I'm pretty sure. Ref's talking it over. Three, six, nope. Nope, they had an extra player on the field. They were one up. So All right. they, uh, I'm sure it was a miscommunication out of the half. Um, and There's Dolan on the hunt. Lynn Classical playing some nice possession here. Look at him opening him up, Zach. Oh, a nice little turn there. Fancy play by number 13, Wilbraith Lopez Funes. He's been fun to watch. Yeah. Brucey Clifford in the house. There's Brucey. Brucey. Brucey Clifford. Drag it up, A-Town. Brucey Clifford in the house. He's the proud father of number 16, Will Clifford. Will the Thrill, senior the big captain. red dog. Senior captain. Large red canine. All right, we're underway here. There's a way. Oh! Tried to shoot it across. Oh. And there's a chance for Arlington. Zachy, I think if the Arlington boys can put a goal up in the first 10 minutes of this half, they'll be in good shape. They will be. Um, Lynn Glass wasn't able to get anything the uh, in the the first first half at all. So if you can get a second insurance goal, I'm sure chances increase drastically. Declan Dolan beautifully wins the first ball, and there's another trifecta for the Arlington boys as Francesco took the second ball and he played it square over to Nirvan Patel Massini. Plotkin gets back on the hunt, ball goes back to Tiago, takes a nice gentle touch, shoots a short ball into uh, Francesco. He finds Liquid Matter on the right. Liquid Matter tries to send it into Clifford and he does. Clifford with a nice play to Connolly and Connolly ran out of Should time be, uh, there, but it was a nice throw. touch. All right, it looks like the girls game is over, Zachy. The girls, uh, Arlington girls lost the game on a free kick. It looks like oh. one nothing. So it's an end oh. of this. Oh, and I say! Laser there. From a laser ball goes back to Dolan, and Dolan takes a hit. And uh, Zeus tried to run it down. Zachy, uh, you'll notice that Yadzio keeps Kohlberg and Tiago yep. back at all times, and Tiago yep. is very tough to beat as he saves the day there, as Kohlberg was a deer in the headlights on that play. Sad to hear about the girls. Um, I'm sure our, our counterpart, Yusuf Sawa, was, uh, was he, was he out there calling the game? There goes Kohlberg with it. Yeah, oh, so nice run off the ball. People are interested to see how, how that, that uh, free kick looks. They can find out for themselves. Uh, Yusuf Sawa was out on site recording and commentating that game. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. All right, so here's going to be a uh, free kick for Francesco. Let's see if he can send a deep one into the box, Zach. Here he comes. He nails it. It is deep, and it is into the box. Ooh, and, oh, oh, but it rolls out as Connolly couldn't get ahead on it. Connolly kicked, kicked a kid in the butt instead of kicking the ball. Yeah, oh, it's in the tush. All right, so we are here for second half action. Arlington clinging to a one-goal lead, but, you know, one-goal lead isn't bad in soccer, Zach. A game of inches. I mean, it could have been, if it was not French, it could have been 2-0, though. Remember Declan Dolan shot off the post. Ooh, there's a dangerous ball that's uh, allowed to bounce in the middle. Can't let that happen. No, Julie Corrales in the house. Here comes the lovely Julie. All right, so ball, uh, nice possession with both teams tonight. We're seeing some good soccer. Here comes Francesco with the razzle-dazzle. He plays it over to Clifford. Clifford's got some time. No one on him, and yeah, a nice no one, run no off one the ball. That turn, which is 
Not how it's supposed to go. Now they gotta make him pay, Zach. Here comes Liquid. He'll go right through you. Liquid Mata. Oh, uh, but he ran out of real estate. Yep, forced a little too wide off his run. It looks Hello? like it looks like they're calling a goal. They're gonna. The refs are gonna talk it over. Yeah, the refs are gonna have a discussion to see whose ball it is. The Arlington. Saints Grant seemed pretty confident that it was a corner kick. And they're oh, and it's taken kick. back. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Zachy, in the first half, Arlington had their fair share of corner kicks. They couldn't convert any of them. Nope. So Not even a chance. We'll see if the goal kick is more advantageous for Arlington. <laughs> no, I think the Arlington boys have got to uh, make some use of their corner kicks. There's a nice low ball. The first ball cool. again met by Declan Dolan. Uh, Zachy, when Dolan meets that first ball, it just looks like things happen. Lucas and might he, have a shot here. Oh, oh Lucas no, didn't have down. that much time. As he is closed down nicely uh, by... Number Kohlberg with a beautiful fake, and he sends a short ball into Francesco. Francesco back to Dolan. Dolan over to Patel Massini. Patel Massini back over to Liquid Matter, but he's got the first touch of a blacksmith. But Patel Massini kept that ball on the ground. He could make it a lot easier for Sands Grant to, to do something with it. it Sands Grant could have had a better touch, but he was not exactly gifted an easy pass. Oh, here comes a break for the Arlington boys as Connolly with a st double step over, and he tries to shoot it in front, and he does, and Francesco gets a head on it. Beautiful play by Connolly, and Francesco did get a head on it. Can not get enough mustard on it? No, was, there wasn't enough mustard on that, as Daniel Cortez made it look easy. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an interesting play from Cortez, because if Francesco is able to pick a corner or something like that, with the, the problem with sitting back in your line as a keeper is that there's a lot more space that uh, Francesco can shoot at, but if it's kind of a floater like Francesco did, and you trust your reflexes, you can get to anything. Dolan with a nice play, goes back to Zussi. Zussi sends it, tries to send it into Plotkin. He does. Plotkin with a nice shield. He sends overlap. it back to Zussi. It's broken up by uh, by the Lynn Classical defender, but it's going to be an Arlington throw. And Zaki, we're down to 33 minutes, a uh, little under 34 minutes left in the half. Francesco with the dipsy doodle, razzle dazzle pirouette, oh, and he's buried by two guys. Oh, this is. Oh, meet the Lynn Classical boys. All right, so here's a chance here as Francesco took a hit. As both of them ganged up it's on him. It's from a decent position. It looks like. It looked like he took a noogie and an ear gouge. They're going to order a, a yeah, four man wall. It's an eye gouge. Yeah. Four man wall and Connolly standing just behind it, perhaps looking for a rebound. Gomes on Mark's top of the box. Curves when it. Oh, it's in! a tip. Oh, tip it. I think it's. Francesco Malagusa. Give, give the goal to Francesco. Yeah, no, no, it's unassisted. Yeah. It's unassisted. I don't think it was tipped. No, it definitely changed direction midair. I know, but I don't think it was tipped by an Arlington player. No, no, play. no, yeah. it, no. It was definitely off a of Lynn Classical player. Yeah, so give right. the goal to Francesco. Let's call it Francesco unassisted. Yep. Arlington goal number 11, Francesco Valagusa. And uh, perhaps a little bit of uh, karma here for Arlington. You said the girls lost their game on a free kick. Arlington gets an insurance goal. Uh, the boys get an insurance goal off a free kick, so... Zachy, we goes may, around comes around. Zachy, we may be seeing each other at 12 noon on Saturday in uh, in Manning Field if we can get AVT to take the AVT out there. I don't know. We'll have to talk to KWET and see if we can get some uh, <laughs> some uh, <laughs> some uh, authorization. I don't, I don't think anyone calls him KWET. Kevin Wetmore? <laughs> hey, he's KWET. That's not what they call him. I don't think anyone calls him that. That's what Wait, Alex I'll, called I'll that. try it. That's I'll, what Alex told I'll me to call it. him. I'll try it. Next, next time I see him, I'll call him K-Wet. Oh, I guy. said Alex. I said, Alex, you have a nickname for Kevin Wetmore. He said K-Wet. <laughs> I said, I like that. All right. Well, anyway, the Arlington boys, they're not lighting up the cigar yet, Zachy, but no. we're coming down to 30 minutes and a two-goal lead in your home field. Again, That's a nice cushion. It is. It, it's a nice cushion. But, again, it it's kind of... It was a nice free kick from Francesco, but if that doesn't get deflected, I'm pretty sure that the Lynn keeper saves that. It took kind of a weird, weird glance in the way in off a of player mark, uh, not in the wall. You know, and you know, Zach, you make a good point. Both just, of them, yeah. It, both. You know, it's the way the ball bounces sometimes. Right. The Arlington goals have not been, uh, what shall we say, assisted goals. All right, Patel Massini. Oh, a nice little short ball into. Uh, Francesco, Francesco never saw a side in like, I don't know what Zeus was thinking there. Ball oh. goes in, oh, a nice clear out, and another nice clear out. Zaki, the Arlington boys are bringing it. Yep, they're they're bringing, bringing the heat, bringing the fire, bringing the pain, bringing kitchen sink, anything you can think of. Kohlberg gets back to help. He takes it away. Look at this kid. He's a fine boy. Got fine boy. Oh. oh, he doesn't have, look what is he doing there. I don't know. He's, yeah, he sends it into the middle, and Kohlberg's running off the ball. I like it. But now he drops back. He's hungry, that boy number five. Ben Kohlberg. He's I a hungry, hungry hippo. The, the furthest up the field Ben yeah. Kohlberg's been on a, on a 
non um, dead ball piece. Well, when he made the run, Declan Dolan stayed back to cover for him. They're yep. both Dolan Eagles. They've been playing together since third grade. Here comes a substitution, Zach. He helped me. It is going to be a substitution for Lynn Classical Rams, and it looks like it is what number we got there, uh, AVT? Number Here he is. Here's his first touch. Number nine. Is that nine? Is it nine or five? Nine. Yep, nine. Lynn Classical Substitution number nine, Fernando Gomez Godinez. All right, so Gomez Godinez is in the game. This Connolly plays a short ball over to Francesco. Francesco sends it uh, across to Clifford. Corral is currently Cl unmarked in the back of the box, as Cl is Plotkin. Clifford doing some dancing. He takes a left footed shot, but it's broken up by number four, Bobby Orr. That's Bo is that a Bobby Orr? Kohlberg with a head ball. No he tries there. to send it out, no surprise. He tries to send it into Corrales. Goes back to Tiago. Tiago shoots a long ball into the middle. Clifford can't get there, but here comes Fran Oh, Connolly tried to turn on it. Francesco trying to keep it in. The Lynn boys, Francesco with an, uh, with an assault. And uh, Patel Massini tries to send it into Clifford, but he can't get there. He's dispossessed. It's broken up beautifully by number 10. Alexander Islag Teo. Both teams having some problems stringing passes together right now. Yeah, yeah, we're down to the 30 minute mark, Zachy. Yeah, oh, Connolly tried to do a dipsy doodle, but he was broken up. Both teams are doing a good job of, of challenging whoever's receiving the pass. Yeah, it's been defensive in this half. The Lynn fans are trickling in. Causing a lot of mistakes. Yeah, it is two nothing. We're under 30 minutes left. Arlington with a nice little cushion here. Yadzio not, has not gone to his bench yet this half. Ball goes back to number six, Tiago Gomes. He shoots another long ball, and it looks like he was intending for Sean Connell. He didn't get through. Ball floating towards the midfield. You're right, Zachy. Not a lot of possession going on in the last five minutes. Um, but the Arlington boys clinging to a nice lead. I think they got to switch the field over there. Patel Massini. Oh, nice ball in for Patel Massini as he sent it in beautifully to Connolly. Connolly with a razzle-dazzle. Here comes Connolly. He shoots it across. And a... Oh, oh on the goal line. beautiful play by Shawnee Connolly. An open net for Lucas Plotkin, and he puts it right in the feet of a Lynn defender. Could have oh, made it that would have been a dagger. Zaggy, oh. that would have been a dagger. A beautifully timed pass for Sean Connolly. Waits till the keeper comes out, waits till he commits, sends it right past him, right across the line to uh, to the Arlington player, waiting on that back post run, and just, just can't can't pull the trigger on the finish. Almost, and that would have been a, za a dagger. The Arlington boys, Zachy, I think they're sensing it right now. They, and they want to go to Manning on Saturday. They do, they want to two years in a row, or at least two yeah, years in a row. Yeah, for the semis. Yeah. Well, last year was the finals, right? We yeah. made it to the finals. All right, well, let's see, one step at a time. Here comes a corner kick, ball, oh. and, and a goal kick Woo! from Will Clifford as nobody marked him, Zachy. Yep. He was naked in the middle. What, what were we saying naked. earlier, Ken, about our only team to work on their the, corner kicks? Zachy, the young man was naked in front of the net, and it is a goal for number 16, Will Clifford, assisted by number 11, Francesco Valagosa. Arlington goal number 16, Will Clifford, assisted by number 11, Francesco Valagosa. All right, the Arlington boys land a dagger and the Lynn boys are dejected. They're gonna take a timeout. Timeout, Lynn Classical. All right, it is, looks like a dagger there. Yeah, so they're on the road down uh, three goals. Yeah, there's the follow up from, uh, Plockett can, can rest easy now. I, he, they got the, I don't think the ball ever left the uh, Arling, the Lynn Classical end ever, even after he missed that. Uh, that conversion. So Arlington gets their third. Yeah, that's a mental lapse, though, Zachy, for the uh, for the uh, uh, yeah, Lynn I Classical mean, boys. You've got to mark up in the box on a corner kick like that. I mean, I mean you, Will you Clifford gotta, was naked. You got to you got to mark up. I, th I think he I think he um he beat. It. I mean, because Arlington, Arlington's making back post runs all night, Ken, and they've been kicking the ball long, even over some of those back post runs. So I think what Will Clifford did was, I think he faked like he was going to make a back post run and then cut right across the face of his defender to go to that near post run. Francesca puts it right in his head. He puts it right by the shoulder of the keeper. Right. Well, we said that in the first half, Arlington had a lot of chances on the corner kicks. They didn't convert any of them, and part of that was because uh, Francesco was kicking them over the box. You got to give yeah. Francesco credit because it was a nice low ball yeah, into nice, the box. Yeah, nice. It was it was yeah. a very a very convertible ball for Will Clifford. Exactly. Put it in the right space, but Francesco set him up in every way he can. I think Francesco's making a pretty good case for Player of the Game. He's got both goals and one assist. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna have to focus on. Uh, on the Lynn Classical player of the game. They've had a lot of stu a lot of kids who have shined tonight, but they've caught some bad yeah. breaks. They've caught some bad breaks. The two goal, the first two were kind of fluky. That one was earned, but just a mental lapse as you got to mark up everybody yeah. in the box. All right, so 28 minutes left in the game. And I think it was number seven, I think. Yeah. yeah. He was, number seven was good in the first half. Number seven is, uh, we'll put him under consideration. 
Yeah, that is Jenner Robles. All right. Uh, let's see if there's any, any subs in the game right now. It looks like uh, I thought someone was intending to come in at the end of that half, but not yet. Nope. None for Arlington. As, uh, Yadzio. I, think was, I think it was nine, I remember. But who knows? All right, here come the Lynn Classical boys. There's a nice ball in and a great hustle. Oh, tremendous hustle by number nine. Uh, Fernando Gomez Godinez as he tried to hunt that one down, but he ran out of space. And uh, it looks like maybe Pilja's getting ready to come back in. Yadzio might be thinking about the cigar at this point. Yeah, hey, I mean, there's there's still 30 minutes left. A goal every 10 minutes, is it's doable. It's not, doable. Not the most enviable, posi enviable position, but it is doable. Oh, a nice play by Francesco. Francesco's been everywhere. He has. Exactly. Oh, he takes the elbow to the neck. And number eight. Gabriel Novoa put an elbow to the neck of Francesco. It looks like he may have been uh, try. It looks like he got him in the Adam's apple. Always a good place to nail a guy. And uh, but Francesco shook it off. You're right, Zachy. He's really uh, looking like the player of the game tonight. Two goals and assist, but he's also won some free balls in the middle. Yep. All right, Dolan sends it into the middle. It's met beautifully by uh, the Lynn Classical defender number 18, uh, Iver De Leon. But Arlington wins it back. The Lynn Classical boys having a little bit of trouble. Dolan is first to the ball. He tries to shoot it into the corner to Lucas Plotkin. The Plotkin thickens. Tiago's there first. And uh, Francesco can't come away with it. Over on the other side is number 14. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Danny Ross? Is he? Did he sneak yeah. into the Yeah, that would be Danny Ross. Yeah. Arlington substitution number 14, Dennis Rosner. Fans go wild for Rosner, Denny as they Ro should. Denny Rosner is in the game, and the fans go wild for Denny Rosner, as they should. Denny Rosner, by the way, I don't know if we've mentioned this tonight, but he plays semi-professional dodgeball. He's one of the best dodgeball players in Massachusetts. But Corrales at, is still in the game. At least at the high school level. Yeah, Corrales is still in, so it looks like uh, Science Grant has gotten a break, well-deserved. Yeah. And some minutes for Denny Ros, number 14. Denny Ros. Uh, was a multi-sport athlete back in the day. He, uh, but then he got very, very good at dodgeball, and now he's uh, one of the elite uh, club dodgeball players in Massachusetts. And uh, I know that tonight, actually, he's got dodgeball practice after the game, so they gotta limit his minutes because they don't want it to interfere too much with his dodgeball activities. All right, there is uh, Sean Connolly as he tries to do a twist and a dipsy doodle, dipsy doodle, and he draws the foul from number four uh, Ivan Malara uh, Plaites, a senior captain. All right, ball goes deep into the Lynn Classical goal. A little too far. It's taken by Daniel Cortez. Uh, Cortez uh, shoots it off to the side. He finds number 11, who plays a beautiful uh, volley into Alexander Alfaro Amaya. Amaya, oh Amaya. Oh and uh, Francesco tries to shoot it into Connolly. Connolly can't get there. Both benches quiet. Ball goes back to Tiago. Tiago tries to send it in. A little bit of pinball going on. It goes out of, off a of Lynn Classical. It's going to be a throw in for Dolan. Dolan tries to shoot it into Connolly. It can't get there. They're both Dolan Eagles. Plotkin with a win. Plotkin with a nice fake. And there goes Lucas oh, Plotkin on the hunt. Closing speed from number three. Oh, yeah. This number three has got tremendous wheels. Christopher Zayara? Zalaya, yeah. Zalaya. There we go. All right, Zachy, we're under 25 minutes left. The Arlington boys are getting ready to celebrate. They're thinking about Saturday. It's only Tuesday. They'll have some days to prepare. Ball oh. goes into Francesco. Pop the root I mean, beer caps Connelly. and celebrate. And uh, it looked like Clifford was trying to sneak in there behind uh, behind the line, but he couldn't get there. All right, here's a, a little bit of possession for the Lynn Classical boys. A nice dipsy doodle by number six. Uh... Kevin Molina Orellana. All right, so Fox Jerkowitz is going to get a freebie here. Dolan goes back to get it. Uh, and uh, time running out, Zachy, on the Lynn Classical Rams. Yep, they got it. They just got to start with one. That's all they got to work for right now. Just get one and hope the rest will follow. Down three on the road. Dolan, nice ball towards the middle. And... Uh, the Arlington boys on the hunt. Look at Sean Connolly closing the space, and look at Shawnee go, but it rolls all the way back in a nice clear out. Kohlberg is there first. He hits it again with his head. 
I will say that, that so far the Arlington boys have done a, a great job with what I consider one of the more unenviable seeds. Like, the four seed is, is great, but you're you're just never you're always so close to being the underdog, but never quite there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you exactly. got the you got one of the harder um, you know first first round matchups in Belmont, who played us extremely tough, took us all the way to penalty kicks, and now you've got the uh, the unenviable four or five matchup against a very talented Lynn Classical team. Yeah, you know, Zachy, I agree with you. I think that's tremendous analysis. This Lynn Classical team is outstanding. And uh, and the Arlington boys have beat them handily, which bodes well for Arlington. It shows it that our boys they're, are good they're players. Building. Yeah. They're, they're building. I mean, they, they recovered from, I, I'll admit, I was worried after the Belmont game. Um, you know, it's not often that the, the 12 seed puts up such a, a convincing fight against a 4 seed and, and really, you know, if not for a couple mental gaffes during the penalty kicks, things could have gone a different way. As another corner kick very nearly finished there. Yeah, but another nice, another nice corner kick, and here comes the substitution. Who is this? Is this Jan again? Or is uh, this? Uh, see who he takes out. But who is it? Is it? Yeah, Clifford gets a break. Is it? It's it. It might be Max Fritsch, or it's either Max Fritsch or Jan Pilja. I can't tell from here. What number is it? There he is, right there. Uh. Oh, he's not doing the service of showing us the number. Who is it? Is it Fritsch or Pilja? Alex, anything? Prince so small, and he's standing directly horizontal, horizontal to us. So we'll call him out in a second once we can see his number. But he Could is standing. Could be Fritsch. And then there he is. A nice touch for him. It's Fritch. Yeah, it's Fritch. It's not 17. Yeah. 13? 13, yep. Max Fritch. Yeah. Arlington substitution number 13, Max Fritch. His name is Maxie. Yeah. He rides in a taxi. Coach Giorgio, perhaps cognizant of what I said earlier as how this is the last game for the seniors on Pierce Field. And he's, Denny Ross is in the game. Yeah. Max Fritch is in the game. Some seniors that... uh. I've not seen a ton of use this year getting some minutes here, which is nice to see. All right, nice cover there. Uh, oh, but they'll find. The oh, but nice close down. Oh, nice the close shot. down. And here's oh, Fritch with a nice touch. Fritch plays, tries to play it Corrales out. Corrales slowed it out, though, after blocking that. Yeah, Corrales took another hit. He's taken plenty of them this season he for has. Arlington. Cor Corrales has really been a warrior all season long. He's got to be careful right now, though, out there, yeah. he is keeping everyone on sides, which is... Look at him has to say after he just got, you know, kicked right in the leg, but he's coming out. I think Liquid Matter is coming back in. Yeah, he's going to pull yeah, Corrales. That's, yeah, that's smart. And Francesco's on his horse. Look at Francesco go. He'll go coast to coast, but he likes to play it square to Connolly. Connolly, I don't know what he was Ooh, thinking there. Swing the Look at Francesco. Francesco has been everywhere. Oh my goodness. Sub for both sides. Uh, Saints Grant comes in for uh, for Nick, for Zeus. Zeus. And Denny Ross goes yeah, to left. Send Dennis over to the left. Arlington substitution number nine, Elon Science Grant. It looks like number two came back in the game for Lynn Classical. Is it seven or two? Uh, I'm not sure. No, he moved number twelve. So I'm not actually sure who came in anymore. Okay. Because the guy I saw running. Ball shoots across. Oh, Francesco one more. over the. Oh, it slips in the turf. Shot. Have it. Oh, he finds the back of the net. Lucas Plotkin, and it looks like the assist. I think Go to Sean Connolly. Was it Connolly? Yep, he yep. was the one that made the extra pass. Yep. I mean, a lot Lucas of credit to Sean Plotkin. Connolly there. He's, yep. It's the unselfish play. You have the ball basically within the six-yard box, and you make the extra pass over to Plotkin. He's got a bit more room. And yep. Plotkin does a stop and go, makes one man miss, draws the keeper out, and is able to finish by... One defender, the keeper, and a second defender sitting on the line. I'm still unsure how he threaded the needle, but the ball wound up in the back of the net, and it's four on the board for Arlington. Arlington goal number two, Lucas Plotkin, assisted by number 10, Shawnee Connolly. So Shawnee Connolly, the sophomore, has got a point. Lucas Plotkin, on, uh, a senior, as you pointed out, Zachy, in his probably last home game with a goal. Yep. And uh, Francesco's got the other two. Who's got the other two? Fra uh, Francesco's got two. Clifford's got one uh, assisted by Francesco. And now Plotkin's got one assisted by Connolly. Okay. All right, uh, so the Francesco Arling went down, but they're going to play advantage here for Arlington as they still have possession. So Francesco gets back up and receives the ball. 
All right, we've got a substitution coming in. I think it might be, is it Zussi coming back or who's coming in? Uh, or is it O'Rourke? He's not coming in on this throw in though, so no. he's. Yadzio's in a position now to play some subs, Zach. He plays yeah. some, uh, play some of the. Uh, You'd love to see Leo Drake get into the game. I think he's one of the only, only seniors. Oh, that, nice uh, win by Denny Ross. That hasn't found his way in there yet. So maybe he gives Connolly a breather or Patel Massini just to get him some minutes. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think Yadzio can, can kind of do as he wishes here. Oof. Lynn classical substitution number 12, Amon Alabasi. All right, so we got a substitution for Arlington. Who is it, Zachy? Is that Leonardo? Yeah. Number 12? Uh, already come in. I can't. 20? I can't find where he came in. Yeah. They're on the far side. All these numbers are so small. Arlington substitution number 20. Leonardo Drake. All right, so Leo gets in the game as uh, the last senior on Arlington. Yep. Uh, Leonardo Drake, Leonardo yep. da Vinci, the Drake cake. Let's see if he can pop one in. He had a, did he have a goal yep. early in the season? I thought he did. I'm not sure. I can't remember. He's an ex head. exciting striker. Arlington boys up 4 0. Uh, we're down under 18 minutes left, and it's just been uh, all Arlington this half as. Uh, Oh, oh Drake, oh, oh, almost a double, two chances. The Lynn boys are coming uh, unglued, Zach. A little bit. I mean, it's just uh, on, at this point, it's it's a mental thing more than anything. I mean, if you've been playing, if you're playing high school soccer, you've been playing high soccer long enough to know that down four goals, not a lot of teams come back from that. Particularly on the road in playoff yeah. uh, playoff action. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. We'll probably get to see some fresh faces. Yeah. Uh, Elon Science Grant back on defense. Dolan is uh, dispossessed, taken beautifully up the field by uh, number eight, Gabriel Novoa. There oh, is Plotkin Clifford. with a beautiful touch. And Plotkin is challenged nicely by number two, Theodore Camarinos. Browser conducts some traffic, looks for Leo Drake. Francesco is going to take gonna a hit, and he tries to go for the score. He tries to yeah. hit the scoreboard. Maybe he thinks that's how you add one. Yeah. It's like touch activated. Yeah. Well, we're winding down here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster. Another substitution here for. Here comes another substitution. It looks like it's going to be. Is that Corrales back in the game? Yeah, it, no, it no. is uh, another one of the sophomores. That is uh, 15. 15. So Fritch got in, and that is Anand, Ol Anand Olstad. Arlington substitution number 15, Anand Olstad. So he's going to take out, is it, did he take out Francesco? Because uh, he plays center midi, and Dolan and Patel Messini are both still in there. No, I think, uh, yes, I think he did take off Francesco. Yeah. Gave him a break. Yeah. So Francesco will take a breather. Oh. Anon Olstad is in the game. Ol Olstad. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster for Arlington Community Media, Inc. We are here for playoff Ooh, action. The ball goes ball. in. Fox Jerkowitz punches it out. Oh, great run by number six. Yeah, that is, that's dangerous. Dangerous ball in the box there. Still got to be careful. Yeah. Kohlberg on defense, and he pokes the ball out of bounds. The Arlington boys don't want to let up a goal, never mind lose the game. I mean, they that backfield has been very stingy all season long, Zachy, and they want to keep their numbers down. Yeah, it definitely has been. I don't know how many shutouts Fox Jerkowitz has this year, but it's certainly more than a couple. There's a nice cross ball, but a little uh, bit too no much mustard. And uh, as we're under 15 minutes left, it's looking pretty for the Arlington uh, Arlington Spy Ponders. Yep. Arlington girls varsity lost tonight. They got defeated by Concord Carlisle in the second round of the playoffs in Concord. So the season is over. A fine season for the Arlington girls. They lost one nothing on a free kick. And uh, I understand from the texts that are coming in that the girls played beautifully tonight. Uh, they were they were the um, were they playing a one seed or two seed who are they playing? I think, I, I think a one seed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because um, 
they had an upset in the first round, right? Um, which usually means you play a very high seed after that. Right. Dolan throws an elbow, and he's in a tussle with number nine, and they're going to give it to Dolan. Yeah. Great hustle by number nine for Lynn. Uh, Fernando Gomez Godinia as a junior forward. As uh, Dolan, it looks like he took, it looks like Gomez yeah, he maybe hit his, hit his head on the turf. No, I think he either gave him a noogie or it might have been an ear twist, but Dolan takes a knee. Yeah, Dolan's going to take an, I mean, that's, that's uh, a smart thing to do with a potential head injury. Yeah, Just yeah. Get yourself checked out. He took a pop. Let's see who we're going to see coming back in the game. It could be. Uh, Maybe Francesco back in the game because it's short notice, but he might. Uh, I don't know. I think he'll just take a timeout here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see what he's going to do. Dolan is uh, it has come off the field. Clock has like stopped, so no complaints about wasting time or anything like uh, that. As yeah. a Lynn Classical player has come up lame as well, it appears. Yeah. So injuries across the board for both teams. Let's see who's coming in for Lynn Classical. Look at this kid's got wheels. This is number yeah. 13. Uh, Wilberth Lopez Funes. Dylan comes out. And they're gonna put. Who is that? Is that Michael Britt? Yeah. In? Yeah. Yeah. Arlington substitution number four, Michael Britt. Gets a big high five from Ben Kohlberg on his way yeah. in. Yeah, well, that's because Britt's also a Dolan Eagle, as I mentioned earlier. These oh, kids were playing Leo together. Drake nearly got a. Got to that free kick. So we've got another Dolan Eagle in the game, number four, Michael Britt. He wears number four. He's a hockey player, too. He loves Bobby Orr. And there's uh, a lot of time for uh, a lot of time for Fritch. And uh, Fritchie, is that Fritch number 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he took a drive there, and uh, he shot it wide. So yeah, they'll, put, they'll put Britt in on the left back, and they'll move Dennis Rosner up to uh, Dolan's CDM position. All right. So the backfield is Science Grant and... Uh, Science Grant, Gomes, Kohlberg, Britt across the back, and you've got... Denny Ols Roz in Olsta the middle? Olstad, and Olstad, Denny Roz, and... F I, don't, I don't know who the other um, center midi is. I don't know. There's a ball shot in, but a little bit of miscommunication on Lynn Classical. They can't really seem to be getting yeah. too much going on. All right, we've got Leonardo uh, Da Vinci Drake up top. Uh, Nirvana. Oh, Patelmasini is still in the end. Patelmasini is in the midfield. He's a Dolan Eagle. He's with uh, Ananda Olstad, Denny Rosner, the uh, tremendous dodgeball player. And uh, number two, Lucas Plotkin still in the game. And then on the far right, it looks like it's Maxi Fritch. In the backfield, as you mentioned, number four, the fan favorite, Michael Britt, Mr. Britt. Um, Mr. Britt. Son of the uh, tenacious Carolyn Britt and also Tom Britt. Uh, and Olstad, Ooh. Olstad Aggressive tried challenge. to, yeah, Olstad tried to do a tackle. He tried to hug him. Yeah, I think he tried to kiss him. Uh -huh. He gave him a little hug. Maybe. All right, so it's going to be a, a f nice free kick here for Arlington. I mean, for uh, the Lynn Classical. It's taken by Gabriel Novoa. Novoa with the left peg. Oh, right into the one-man wall. Yeah, and he hit Mr. Britt. Uh, in a sensitive area, but Mr. Britt shook it off. Mr. Britt is uh, fit to be tied. He's got the Jets. We've got another number coming in there uh, by the scorer's table, Zachy. We've got another substitution mm -hmm. coming in for uh, the Spy Ponders as uh, it looks like uh, Yadzio might get a chance to empty his bench here as we come down. Plenty of time left, 12 minutes yeah. left. But Arlington has that Wouldn't deep bench. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw Lucas Wessel get into the game towards the end as well as he is another senior that... Uh, right. Plotkin's going to come Plotkin's out. Plotkin's coming out. That? And this is uh, David Guidus. He Guitas is a junior. Game. Arlington substitution number 22, David Guidus. All right, so David Guidus in the game, a tremendous beast. He's, the, uh, of course, the son of the famous Mary Francis Guidus and also Joe Guidus, the great long-distance runner. Um, yep, and there and comes Wessel to score the midline to... To come into the game. Guidus is also the brother of the great Julia Guidus. I think she was a, a Green Gator. And here comes, uh, is this Lucas Wessel? Yep. Arlington substitution goalkeeper, Lucas Wessel. All right, so Lucas Wessel comes into the game with 10 minutes left, and let's see what he can do. 
uh, as the Arlington boys, uh, we start to see a lot of substitutions now. It looks like another one coming yeah, up. Yeah, I think this is O'Rourke. I love this kid. He's another one of the sophomores. Let's see what number he is. Is that Ryan O'Rourke, number 25? I hope so. He's electric. It is Ryan O'Rourke. He looks like he's coming in for uh, for liquid. Mm -hmm. Arlington substitution number 25. Ryan O'Rourke. All right, so O'Rourke comes in, and I think he's replacing Liquid Matter. It's, a, yep. it's an interesting lineup out there. But uh, no matter who Yazio subs in, he's sure to keep his two center backs in because that Yazio will, will put everyone in, but his, he, he prides his, his defense on always, you know, on always being being tough and being connected, so he's, he's loath to take his starters out, especially in those center back positions. Yeah, he doesn't like giving up the numbers, actually. Uh, and So Tiago Gomes, number six, the senior captain, uh, is staying in the game with number five, the project, the uh, junior Ben Colbert, child near and dear to my heart. He's got Michael Britt covering for him on the left, as ha has been the case for many, many years. So uh, Britt is outstanding, a very reliable, uh, durable player. He can play defense as well as uh, midfield. Kohlberg shoots a long ball up the middle. I think he was going for Leonardo Drake. Not a bad idea. Here comes Maxi Fritsch closing the space. The game is still uh, very exciting. We're under nine minutes. Nice touch there by Leonardo. Got and a nice run off the ball. The oh, yeah. As Guidus made a beautiful run off the ball. David Guidus was sensing that he got, could have got open, and he had some fire in his step, Zachy. Yeah, there was not a player within 10 yards of him. If he ball got over there, he could have his pick of where to finish. Exactly. Well, the Arlington boys up 4 nothing. We're under nine minutes left, and uh, we're seeing some nice fresh faces as the uh, ball gets shot across, played nicely by uh, number three, uh, Christopher Zelaya. Ball goes back to Michael Britt. Michael Britt shoots a long ball into Leonardo. Leonardo with a nice twist. Oh, and he had a nice run off the ball by Fritchie. Max Fritch with a beautiful play off the ball. Zachy, sometimes in soccer, the best players are characterized by what they do when they do not have the ball. And Max Fritch just made a beautiful run off yeah, the ball. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth mentioning that, you know, even though these are players that have sat on Coach Yazio's bench for most of the year, they still made varsity. They're still incredibly oh, yeah. talented. It's varsity not like, in Arlington. Varsity, exactly. Yeah. Like these are some of the best soccer players you will find in the state of Massachusetts. Absolutely. These are top players. As I say that, I think three of them fell down. But, you know, I try my best. Kohlberg shoots it across. It looks like we've got another substitution. And this could be uh, a very exciting part as we've got another uh, another one of the sophomores. He's going to grab number 21, Noah Sweeter. Patelmasini. And, and he's sweeter than honey. Arlington substitution number 21, Noah Sweeter. So he'll stay on right mid, and they move Fritch inside to Cam. So Noah Sweeter, number 21, he's sweeter and honey. He had some great spells early in the season. He's a great give-and-go player, moves beautifully off the ball. He's a member of that sophomore class. The sophomores for Arlington are all in right now as uh, Noah Sweeter, number 21, Anand Olstad, number 25, and uh, the other sophomore, Zachy, are... Uh, Oh, Fritsch. Good move to get by one. Gets trapped up by the second. Let's see who these other uh, other sophomores are. So Sweeter is 2021. Jan Pilger, we saw him in the first half. Ryan O'Rourke and Anand Olstad. So those are the four sophomores. They've all seen action tonight. Bodes well for Yazio to have his some experience, uh, playoff experience for his for his younger guys. Uh, David Guidus, number 21, they're looking to switch the field over to him. Guidus can, can fire right past you. He's a bright jet of flame. And it looks like we've got a substitution coming in for uh, Lynn Classical. Let's try to get this guy's number. Who is it? Oh, uh, it is. Come on, we've got to get some press for these boys here. It's number 15. Six, is it 15 or 16? 15 or 16. What 16. do you see, Alex? 16? 16. Lynn Classical substitution number 16, Jeffrey Robles. 
All right, so Jeffrey Robles is in the game. He's ready to roll. Zach, you five and a half minutes left in the game. Arlington with a comfortable lead, and we're getting to see some fresh faces in the game. Ladies Lynn and gentlemen, has got a corner kick, though. We'll see what they can do with it. Here's a corner kick for the uh, Orlin Classical. Beautiful corner kick, and Wessel went out to try to meet it. Uh, there's Noah Sweeter, number 21. Sweeter is on the hunt. Ball rolls across, taken nicely by number seven. Goes back. Kind of. And Colbert clears there. it out. Oop. Oh, beautiful play by number 14, Josu Pena. And uh, Fritch closes down the space in the middle. We're under five minutes left in the contest. And the, uh, the Arlington boys are sitting pretty with a four goal lead, Zachy. And it looks like they're gonna be at Manning Field on Saturday. Any idea who they'll, be, uh, who they'll be playing, Kevin? No idea. I don't know. But it looks like we got two more subs coming in for the last four minutes. And it looks like these might be uh, the new guys. That could be uh, Xavier Jacob Dolan. Mm -hmm. Is that Xavier? Uh, I can't yeah. tell. Uh, Xavier, Jacob, Dolan. And they're going to grab, yep, they're going to grab Tiago and Goldberg, and now there is not a original starter left right. on the field. So who's this? Xavier, Jacob, Dolan, and who's the other guy? Uh, number... Uh, Arlington yeah. Substitutions, number 23, Xavier, Jacob, Dolan. Number 24 is the other. And number 24... Tade Fotian. All right. So some, uh, I believe those are their call-ups for playoffs, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yep, Ken? they are call-ups for playoffs. They're both defenders. Yep. Jacob Xavier, Jacob, Jacob, uh, uh, Xavier, Xavier Jacob, Jacob Dolan, Dolan. There you and go. Tade Fotian. I think, the, I think I think 24 is Jacob Dolan and 23 is Tate. Yeah. Arlington substitution number 23. Oh, it's a little bit messed yeah. up. A yeah. A little bit messed up. That is Tate. Okay. Yeah. So we've we've got we we got the right people, but the wrong yeah. numbers associated yeah. with yeah. them. Yeah. Sweeter tries to do a twist there, and he can't get in. Yeah. Two minutes and 41 seconds left. Oops. Oops. Mm -hmm. No, I had the mic going on the, uh, on the field. Ah. We are two minutes, two and a half minutes left in the contest. And Arlington's not really being aggressive on this kick. Oh, oh off nearly. The oh, sh ball goes in. Woof. Don't goes need back to Mr. Britt. Mr. Britt plays it over to Denny Ross. I believe it was Max first that took that, that free kick. And who needs to make runs back post if it's just going to go in by itself? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was hounded by three different Arlington players. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Goes right around. Oh, meets the stiff foot of Michael Brett. Nice. Uh, head Tade doing his, Tade, uh, yeah. his best Ben Kohlberg impression. Yeah. It seems spot on to me. Yeah, ball rolls back. There's we are in stoppage time here in Mary Pierce Field in Arlington. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster for Arlington Community Media Inc. Media Inc. Oof, nice throw nice in there. Nice throw in. Our producer today, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Van Thong uh, and cameraman, my color commentator, Zach Garrigus. And Xander, I mean, uh, Xavier Jacob Dolan makes a nice play back to Wessel. Wessel shoots it up nicely to Sweeter. Sweeter plays it wisely back. Some nice possession there from the Arlington boys. Noah Sweeter, as he plays it back to his, uh, Xavier Jacob Dolan, he hits it over to uh, Lynn Classical player. Lynn Classical trying to get on the board here late in the game. As uh, number nine, this guy's been all over the field. There's a shot. Oh, he shot it over we the We got net. a side of a player drive. of the game, Ken. I think we give it to, to Francesco for Arlington. He's yeah. got two goals and assists, but for Lynn Classical, you got any ideas? What do you think? I don't know. We should probably give it to a senior captain. I feel like yep. they 
yep. that they would deserve it. So we've got yep. the, the keeper. We've got uh, Kevin Molina Orlana, number six. Or we've got uh, uh, Jose Pena. I think is how you pronounce that. Yeah, Jose Pena. I don't know, Zachy. I'm thinking. Uh, or if you see someone else, shout him out. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Daniel Cortez, the okay. goalie. Yeah. You with that? All right. Yeah. Senior captain. Senior captain. He's he's right. had a bit of a rough night, but I, I mean, I I would say none of the goals are especially his fault. There have been some good shots from Arlington. And I like your idea with the senior captain. Yeah. Michael Britt with a nice win. And we've got a ball That's game. That's the final. Ladies and gentlemen, your final score of the Arlington Spy Ponders, four, Lynn Classical Rams, zero. All good, all good, well done. Well done, Noah, well done, Noah. Ladies and gentlemen, Players of the game for the Lynn Classical Rams, goalkeeper number zero, Daniel Cortez. For the Arlington Spy Ponders, number 11, Francesco Alagusa. We are signing off from Arlington Community Media, Inc. Uh, I am here with Zach Garrigus, and thank you uh, uh, from Arlington Mary Pierce Field. So long. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>